Lab 29 asks us to figure out if the cross-site request forgery works on the user pull page, both with a get or a post. Really what it's asking is if the user pull page has a method tampering vulnerability, which allows these types of scripting attacks to be performed over either of the two HTTP methods. If we go to the user pull page, we can build the cross-site request forgery attack by hand. If we right-click and view the source, we can easily find the form by searching for the form element. And then we can copy the inputs one by one in order to reconstruct the request. Another way to do it would be to start up an interception proxy like Burp Suite. We could turn on the intercept and just use the pull page normally. And if we did that, then we would end up seeing the request. That's going to have all of the parameters in it. And again, we could copy the page parameter and give it the value user pull by PHP. Copy the CSRF token value, which is blank because the CSRF defenses are not turned on at the security level. Choice, initials, and the button itself, and so on. But if you look inside of Matilda, you'll notice that there's these hints and videos and there's a cross-site request forgery hint to go along with that. The examples on this page already give us a head start. So we'll just go ahead and start with the example and we'll modify it to suit. This one forces somebody to vote for NMAP. It uses an HTML injected script with a mouse over. Works really well for demos because although you wouldn't normally use a mouse over for an actual attack, it makes it easy to do demos because you can move the mouse over whenever you're ready to kick off the script. Now we need a, a page, any page that has cross-site scripting and it doesn't matter what the page is. It could be literally any page in the entire site. One of them that does this is the echo message page, which is at echo.php. And here we're gonna be able to put in the script. But before we do, we'll make some modifications to the script just to make sure it works. First of all, the domain we're using in our demo is not Matilda, it's matilda.local. So we'll make that minor adjustment. Otherwise, we see that it's using a get request. We'll stick with that to start. And because we want this script to kick off when we inject the cross-site script, we'll need to modify the on mouse over event. So instead of being an on mouse over event, we're just gonna make this a normal script that gets called right away. You can see there's a function since CSRF already written, rather than try to change that, we'll just go down here to the script tag and we'll just call the function and it'll be called in line with the script instead of being kicked off whenever there's an on mouse over event. So that'll be a bit more convenient for this demonstration. Okay, let's go back to the poll page. Right now we have one vote for nmap. So we'll inject the script over here. Click echo message. And we go back to the page. If we refresh, we should see that the value will go up to two. So we'll be careful not to include any of the other attributes. We're just gonna visit the page without submitting the button. And sure enough, it went up to two. Now the question was, would that still work if the method was a post? So to do that, we'll need to make another modification. We'll change it to post, copy the script, go back over to our test page, which got redirected because of the, the injection. So we'll need to back up to echo.php Now at this point, because the page keeps 
refreshing over and over again. It's making it hard to tell how many times that script got submitted. So let me just double check that before we move, go on. We're sitting at five. Now we're going to inject the post version that we just made. Go back over, refresh the page, making sure not to submit it again. And it, sure enough, it went to six. So the answer is it doesn't matter whether we send it in via a get or a post. The reason being the page has what's called a method tampering vulnerability, meaning that an attacker can inject scripts either via get or post, and they're going to be equally effective. Applications are supposed to perform input validation on the HTTP method that was used to submit the form. And in most cases, applications would expect forms to be submitted via post. And certainly, that should be checked if a form is being submitted using the get method and that's not how the page is designed to work, well, that's a sure sign that someone is tampering with the request. But, of course, the underlying root cause is the page is vulnerable across site request forgery in the first place, which should be patched as well. Now that we're over here on the page, we'll go ahead and just select the answer yes to finish up the question and verify that's the correct answer.